This map, produced by NASA, shows the paths of every major tropical storm since records began. The yellow and orange lines represent tropical cyclones, storms with constant wind speeds over 120 kilometers an hour. They're also called hurricanes in the US, or typhoons in the Pacific. You can see from the tracking lines that tropical cyclones can travel a long way. But they only form in a narrow band, 10 degrees either side of the equator. That's because cyclones are powered by energy from warm, humid air. And there's only enough of that around when the sea temperature is over 26 and a half degrees. This satellite image shows the build-up of clouds before Cyclone Isla struck. Driven by warm air rising off the sea, a number of smaller systems called tropical disturbances have come together to form a massive rotating storm. For people below, that means high winds and lashing rain. But for those in the path of cyclones, often the biggest concern isn't the storm itself. It's the tidal surge that accompanies it, and that's caused by a different set of factors. The lines being drawn on this map are called isobars and join points of equal atmospheric pressure. It's a measure of the force exerted by the weight of air above every point on the Earth's surface. The average is just over 1,013 millibars. But when cyclones form, the upward movement of air means the pressure or weight on the sea drops dramatically, causing the sea to rise.